This demonstration deals with proofing, which just means checking your document for correctness before finalizing it. And also, it all, uh, deals with editing, uh, particularly uh, focusing in on the, the kind of editing tasks that are repetitive and difficult to scan through for a human being because you may be error prone if you have to scan every line of a document. However, a computer is good at doing those kind of boring repetitive tasks. So we'll, so we'll show you how to exploit a computer to its fullest in that sense. Okay, the first thing I'm going to run through is a spelling and grammar check to make sure your uh, document is correct. And you can see immediately with these red underlines that I have some spelling errors. So just to make sure I'm thorough and have everything correct, I'm going to go to the review tab here. And there's a button on the left hand side there to run a full spelling and grammar check on the entire document. So I'll just click on that. And you can see that I have some obvious spelling errors. This uh, tells me that that word is not in the dictionary of the computer and it suggests some uh, changes. So we'll just change that. That's a spelling error, another spelling error. Now, in this case here, you can see that this word. Is a, is a person's name. It's not in the dictionary of the computer, however, it is a correct spelling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to the dictionary so that if that um, word is spotted again, it won't be marked as a spelling error. In this case here, it spots that there's a, a typo. So it uh, replaces, it makes a change there, so it's typed incorrectly. And then it realizes when it replaces that word that uh, with a capital C that we shouldn't have a capital C for the letter could in the middle of a sentence so it spots that as a grammar uh, for capitalization so we can make that change. Sometimes you might accidentally type in a word twice as you can see the word and is repeated twice here so I'll delete the extra one and correct that. Another typo there so I'll change that. Uh, grammar, grammar error here and that's correct. So I'll change, make that change. I'll change the spelling error, another spelling error, another spelling error. And now we've just been told by the computer that the spelling and grammar check is complete. Just to recap on the, the fact there that it's important to emphasize that you go through the spelling and grammar check carefully because of those words uh, like uh, names and place names and stuff that may not be in the computer dictionary. Okay, so that's the spelling and grammar check done. Next feature I want to highlight is the thesaurus. So what, the, what is a thesaurus? Is, um, it's, it's a list of synonyms, and a synonym just means a word of the same meaning as the word you have. So let's have a look at synonyms in this particular list. So I'll click on the word beautiful, then I'll do a right click, and I look down here, and I can see this thesaurus feature can give us a list of synonyms of the word beautiful, or Words that have the same meaning as beautiful, I'm going to choose stunning in this case here. And I'll keep going through the list there and choose different synonyms for the words that I have. And where this may come in useful is if you're writing up a document and you find yourself being repetitive with the one word and you want to change that word to a word of the, the same meaning. If you keep on using the word professional, for example, about five or ten times during the document, you may change certain occurrences of it to skilled or one of the ones available on the list. And it's also useful, obviously, to expand your, your own vocabulary. So another word for valuable could be expensive. Another word for skill. Maybe, oh, wrong one. Expertise. Okay, so translation, another useful uh, feature, particularly if you're reading a document in English, for example, and it's not your first language. Above on the, the proofing ribbon here, we can see you can enable a translation screen tip. So don't forget the screen tips are just handy bits of information that pop up when you put your mouse or rest your mouse on a, an element of the screen for a second or two. So I'm just going to pop out the drop down box here. I'm going to enable the French. Uh, translation screen tip. So you can see with that enabled any word that I rest on top of here. So I'm just going to rest on top of the word English. And you can see from that that I'm given a French translation of the word English and it says Anglais. Now where it can come in handy is uh, as well as if you are reading a French document and you wish to have the 
English screen tip enabled where it uh, does some translation for you. And to knock off that screen tip again, all you have to do is pop down the translation screen tip button and turn it off. Okay, the that's pretty much the, the proofing area covered. There's a few other tools in there that you can uh, play around with yourself if you wish. Now, uh, to deal with editing, and I'm gonna uh, revisit my home tab there. I was based in the review tab. I'm back in my home tab over in the right hand corner here, you can see there's a few handy editing tools. We're gonna be focusing on the find and replace tools for now. So if we wish to find um, an item, um, uh, very quickly, for example, I want to find the word consultant in my documents. I can just click on the find button and I can find consultant. I will find it appears here in my documents. And you can see from the status bar, we're now on page two of the fourth page of my documents. We're on that word. We can also click on the status bar and you can enable line numbers, for, for example. These, all the elements that are ticked there are the, the elements that are visible. So I'll just click here. And now I can see that I found the word consultant on page two, line three. So let's find the next occurrence. There's another occurrence there on page two, line 10. So it's a, an easy way of locating elements in your document. Now under the, the find menu as well, another handy tool is the go to tool if you want to jump uh, up and down into uh, true if you want to skip through a document of a large size so if you want to jump to a certain page so for example if I want to jump straight to page 3 of my document I could just select page here and go to page 3 now I'm going to go back to page 2 as that's where I was located previously there we go as well as finding things you can also replace items so in our example here, we have a company name called Craspal, but we have um, made it an accident because the company name should really be Classmate. So uh, what I want to do is I want to find the many occurrences of Classpal in the document and replace them with the word Classmate. So I'm gonna, first of all, click on the Replace button here. Now we want to find the word Classpal, and we want to replace it with the correct company name, Classmate. And by clicking on the Replace All button, the computer scans through the entire document and makes all the, the, the correct replacements, which, as we know, is uh, if a human being was to try and do that, would be you could be error prone. So you can see in the case here, it met 11 replacements. And I'll just close off that box there. And you can see there's the word classmate appearing wherever class pal was previously appearing. Okay, now the replace feature can also replace not just one word with another word, but it can replace the formatting of a word. So in this example here, anytime the word that we've just put in, classmate, appears, I want it now to be highlighted in italics so that our company name stands out in the document. So again, I'm going to pop into the replace feature. This time I want to find the word classmate. In the replace box, I'm going to leave it blank because I'm not, I'm not replacing a word. So I just blank that out. I'm just replacing the formatting of the word classmate. So each time I find the word classmate, I'm going to replace its formatting. So make sure you're clicked into the replace box because if you're clicked into the find box, you're going to uh, change the formatting of the find box rather than the replace box. So we'll just click in here. I'm going to select the format and the font formatting. And I'm going to go with italic. Actually, I'm going to go with bold and italic so that it really stands out. It's going to be both bold and italic every time it appears. So you can see every time the word classmate appears, this is how it's going to be enhanced. So I'll click OK. Replace all button. And you can see 12 replacements have been met here. So we click OK. And we'll just close off the box. And there you go. You can see each time the word classmate appears, it has been replaced appropriately.